Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com. In this video, we're gonna be talking about why would you need external regulation on an alternator and what does it do for your alternator? But first, my name is Jonathan Price, owner and operator of downforsoundshop.com and this YouTube channel, which is two of the fastest growing things in car audio. If you will, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you know every time we drop a video and you'll get it sent to your inbox and you'll be able to check it out first. So the reason why some people run external regulation like I do in my Tahoe is to achieve different voltages basically. So a factory system will usually charge around somewhere from 14 to 14.8 and you're gonna get that through your vehicle's computer usually. But say your vehicle's computer is telling your um, alternator to charge at 13.5 or 14 flat and you want to bump it up to 14.8 because it'll give you a little bit more power it'll be a little bit more efficient uh, coming from your amplifiers um, so the way that you can do that is a few different ways we offer a pigtail from mechman that can plug into a lot of people's alternators it's going to boost your voltage up to say 14.8 or if you have a different type of say lithium batteries and you need a 15.5 charge they have one like that as well Another way that you could do voltage boosting is you've probably seen these blue boxes in my Tahoe. I have two of these because these can only control two alternators accurately. If you get more than that, you get the voltage wandering and some other issues. So you only want to have two alternators controlled by one of these at maximum. So in my Tahoe, I have two of them because I have four 16 volt um, alternators or we run them at the 16 volt range because that's what my battery setup is. The yin longs in the back, that's uh, what the voltage needs to be, somewhere around 17. So we have all four of those alternators, the 320 amp alternators, we have them set up for external regulation, which the plug, when you have an alternator set up for external regulation, let's see, I'll show you in this picture. So on this picture right here, it has these two wires going over to the alternator. When you have the alternator externally regulated, it's gonna have either two wires coming out of it or a plug like this that'll be able to plug into it. And these wires right here are gonna run over to this transpo unit. So they're gonna plug in right here. And it also comes with a handy dandy install manual so you make sure you're doing it right. It comes with all your stuff like your relay, your uh, harness that goes your relay, your fuse, uh, inline fuses, two different ones. So again, the reason that you would use a external regulation box like this is because you're needing to achieve higher voltages and whether that's in a 12 volt system or you want to bump up to 14 volts and you want to be able to turn your voltage up. So basically you turn the voltage up right here with this potentiometer like, like that. So the further you turn it, the higher your voltage is going to go on your alternator. So that's how you adjust your voltage there. So say you're running a 12 volt system and you want to bump your voltage up to um, 15 volts flat, you would just have your multimeter and you would just barely start turning it until you got to 14, nine or 15 and then you would kind of set it and forget it. If you had a 14 volt system, your charging would need to be around the 17.2 volts. So again, you would just keep turning it up until you got to 17.2 and don't mess with it anymore. If you got 16 volts set up, you want to charge it at 19, 19, two. You know, just keep turning it until you get up to the 19, 19, two range. So that's the reason why you would have external regulation on your alternator. Also, your alternator has to be set up to be externally regulated. If it's already got a plug on, if you say if you have a factory alternator and you think you can just bump up the voltage with one of these, it's not going to work. It has to be modified inside the alternator to be set up for external regulation. So don't forget about that as well. If you're ordering an aftermarket alternator and you want to have it set up for external regulation, you would need to buy one of these and the alternator and probably it would be smart to put in the comments that you want it to be set up for external regulation so when the alternator is made and shipped with this unit it'll be able to work properly when it gets to you i hope this information has found you well again if you have any questions regarding car audio post them in the comment section below if i see them i'll try to answer them for you thank you for your support we'll see you in the next one later happening guys if y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video be sure to follow me on 
YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price, and also Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there, so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.